Okay, welcome back to the Caribou Data Science Channel. This is part two of three of how to how to import data into how to use SSIS to import data into a SQL Server database. Okay, the first video, there'll be a link in the description below, was a, was importing a simple CSV file. The second video is going to be um, is going to be uh, how to import an Excel file into. Uh, into uh, SQL Server using SSIS. Uh, I will mention that if you haven't installed the, the, the data tools portion of Visual Studio, uh, I go through that in the first video also. So go back and watch the first video. Make sure you, you do have the data tools uh, installed, okay? Because data tools is part of a, of a larger package called like like uh, uh, data storage or storage data and storage or something like that. Okay, uh, I don't. Uh, I will mention. I don't believe data tools is a separate tool anymore. I think it's part of SSIS and part of that data storage package and stuff, group and stuff like that. But it could be. If I'm wrong, by all means, you know, drop a quite you drop a comment in the description below. Okay, so where are we here? We'll come back over here. Now the one advantage to uh, to using a, an Excel file or a database file is you, you, you don't have to go and define the uh, the column type because what it does it reads the column types directly from the Excel spreadsheet or from the database from the database table itself. Okay. consistent in our naming right now again there's two parts to all this data importing uh, structure the first one is you have to you have to you have to define the source which is which is where the data is actually coming from okay then you have to define the destination and that's where you're going to put the data at. in our case we're going to put the data inside of a SQL Server database okay the source is going to be an Excel so the first thing you do of course is you come over here you grab a data flow. Now you may wonder what a uh, what a package is. Well, the answer is I don't really know. <laughs> I haven't got that far. Data flow task. And the way we get to the to the, to the sources and destination uh, code is we, we double click on the uh, on the data flow task like right here. Okay, double click on that, and our source is going to be what Excel source. part four on how to export data, how to use SSIS to export data from a SQL Server database to an Excel file. Over here, new. Excel file. MCUST. Now it's interesting it uses the verse in 2007-2010. Columns. Okay. Connection manager. Again, we come back over here. Hold on, 
LEDB destination. Manage connection. Again, is the is the OLDB driver for SQL Server, SQL Server. Okay. I'm going to use Windows Authentication. Now, now the the, the ca initial catalog, the catalog is the database. There's our database. Okay. Should be all we have to do. Let's see. And you saw, you know, and it's, uh, just as a reminder here, you, you you have to start with a with an empty table. So you have to create you have to create your table without any data in it. Okay. is good. This simply means it's working. Now it could take a you know a couple of few seconds. Oh now I should be able to come over here now, right? And do this. Dim cost. And there you go. Check the column types. So the column type is, oh, look at this. No, look at this. You can see the date is recognized as a date. The network is recognized as an init. And the call from is a variable character. So that's exactly what we are looking for. Exactly what we're looking for. And that takes care of two different uh, data imports we've done so far. So, of course, before I let you go, one more time, let's do a little bit of a favor here. You know, give this video a big thumbs up, okay? And, of course, the subscription should be good also. So, one down, two down, three, one to go.